Hey guys, Andy here. Quite a simple little gadget I've got here today. Uh, it's a media button. This particular one is a Favolcano. Um, bought from Amazon, free delivery, $13.99. And basically, the idea is just it is just a, a controller for media on your phone. Now for me, I'm hoping it's gonna be handy when I'm riding a motorbike. So I've got um, a Bluetooth headset in my helmet. So my phone connects to that, plays the music, but the controls on the side of the helmet aren't so easy. So what I'm hoping is, and we're gonna see how useful, is that that's gonna clamp onto my bike handlebars a little, I guess that's a sticker if you want to stick it in place, um, and then and then this bit is literally just a controller uh, for the phone media. We've got some instructions with it. I mean, all we really need to know is how to pair it up. So uh, I'll check that, then I'll come back to you, I suppose. Right, it looks relatively simple. That, I don't know if you can see that button on the back there, if the camera will focus just there, that's a pairing button. So I think I'm pressing it. I don't really know what I'm looking for actually to know if it's... Oh, there is a light, there we go. You see that? There's a blue light flashing. Then on my phone, there we go, BT, can you see that? BT05. Pairing is connected. So uh, so I wouldn't I was hoping that you could hold it to uh, to fast forward. But no. But that, that seems ideal. So functionally seems to work good. Fits in my little clip and obviously you can you can rotate it. So as I say we've got a we've got a sticky pad which I assume we can use to stick it in place, but I'd probably rather leave that connected to the handlebar and just remove the little the little controller as and when I need. Now, I don't actually know if we're supposed to turn it on or off like. Anyway, so at this point, it's probably time for me to take it out onto the road. So I've had it fitted for a few days now. And you can see there the, the actual sort of puck almost goes in quite easily. You press any button just to wake it up. It auto sleeps after, I'm gonna say three or four minutes maybe. So you don't have to worry about turning it off. But you might need to wake it to use it again if you've not used it for some time. I think it looks uh, it looks fine in that position. So uh, it doesn't really stand out. It looks particularly stupid. Um, it, there's a bit of movement, but as you can see, if I pull at it, there's no way it's coming off. You have to slide up to the thinner part of the handlebar on this bike, at least, where you could take it on off if you wanted. But otherwise, it's, it's in there pretty sturdy. Um, I've used it in the rain. It's not seemed to have any problem with that at all. Um, so and it seems to work just fine. You know, you can skip back and forward and pause and play. Turn the volume up down obviously all the buttons that are on there um, and actually it's, it's really quite handy for £13 or so it lets you control your music much easily the buttons could do with being a bit more pronounced so you're easier to find with gloves on because as you can see they are quite flat but at the same time I generally haven't had any problems uh, controlling the media there you go leave me your thoughts in the comments down below my name's Andy I'll catch you all again soon